public has a lot to remember when it comes to different advisories, and that can cause some confusion. News 18's Kelly Roberts is live in West Lafayette to clear up what people need to know. Kelly. The drivers coming up and down Sagamore Parkway here in West Lafayette, they're still under that travel, travel advisory, and it's one of the many turns we've heard today along with travel watch and warning or snow emergency. So what's right and what's wrong and what do they all mean? A 2011 law could help sort that all out. A travel advisory? They're letting uh, motorists know that there's bad stuff coming. Travel watch? Obviously getting more... Um, coverage on the on the roadways, so uh, they're they're letting motorists know as well. They're restricting travel. A travel warning. It's it's, it's emergency personnel only. So. Homeland Security District Four Task Force member Kevin McCombs says those are the travel levels you need to know. However, places like Benton County and the city of Frankfurt issue snow emergencies. All the terminology could cause confusion. Tippecanoe County Emergency Management Director Smokey Anderson says a 2011 state law outlined the levels to cut back on that confusion. They had different levels they used before and it was very confusing. So we've changed this now and it's, it's traveler advisory is the lowest one, if you will, and it moves up to a watch and then a warning similar to what we would do for a tornado to make people understand that a little easier. Anderson says EMA directors get the information from other entities like the county sheriff's office and highway department when determining an advisory. He says he does not make the call without a lot of consideration. We don't want to jump too quickly to restrict anybody's movement if we don't have to. Anderson says he knows some people may be confused about the different travel levels. He says common sense can give you the right judgment. Common sense has to come in some at some point if they have to scrape five inches of snow off the hood of their car. They, that should be a hint for them that, that we should probably be under a traveler's advisory. McComb says if you have any doubt about an advisory, check your county's emergency management website or give them a call. News 18 spoke with Benton County EMA Director John Fields over the phone about issuing the snow emergency. He says he issues snow emergencies because he thinks that the public will better understand that term. He says a snow emergency level one is the same as a warning, level two, the same as a watch, and level, level three, an advisory. Reporting live in West Lafayette tonight, Kelly Roberts, News 18.